Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Night Stalker on the Mattel Aquarius. I will start it now because if you don't, the, the it will just crash for some reason. So let's start it. And this is a game request by Paul C on YouTube. Right. I've had a test run of this. So what we've got to do, first of all, is find a weapon. Oh, hang on, we've already got it and I won't take any notice. Right, we've already got the weapon, I've already picked it up. So, I think what this is, you just continue on this level, but it just gets progressively harder and harder. So now I thought I'd always regenerate back in this bit. There's the weapon over there. So first things first, you've got to pick up the weapon. I think this is basically a just a score game. Just to see, see why does this not fire properly? Sometimes this don't fire properly. Right, so I've got that. But they always regenerate. Right, I was pushing down, it was firing up. So I don't know what's going on there. So when you run out of weapons and another gun will turn up, so you've got to go and find it. See, why is it not firing properly? You're supposed to be firing in the direction you're going, but it's not. So it must be an emulation problem or something that's going on. Because I'm pushing in the direction I want to fire, but it's not firing where I want to fire. Oh, fuck it. So you get about, oh fuck it, I think you start off with seven lives. Ah! Reminds me a little bit of Berserk. Obviously Berserk plays better than this, but I think, right, that fired the way. Oh, I've got two, three. But I don't want to fire upwards. Why is it firing upwards? I want to fire sidewards. And it's firing still up. Unless... Right, oh, I think if I push the second button, then it does. Right, I need some weapons. Oh, shit. Obviously, I never owned a... Never ever seen a... Mattel Aquarius before. So I don't know what its limitation was. I don't think it was... I think it was only short-lived. Right. But they always keep... See, I want it firing the way I want it to fire. See, I'm running that way. Did that time, I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, fuck it. So... See, I wanted it to fire down, so I was going down, so I expected it to fire down. So why were it doing that? See, why is it firing that way? Why can't it fire the way I want it to fire? So you can see it can only fire up or left. Ah, oh, now I need to pick up the weapon. Oh, hang on. How many buttons does this thing support? So it looks like you've got to use all your fire buttons. Hang on a minute. I don't like that. How many buttons could, did this thing have? Right, that's down, that fires downwards. Oh, shit! Right, we'll have another go at that. I don't like this fire arrangement. I just don't like it. Why couldn't you just have the one fire button firing in the direction you want to go in? Right, so that fires that way. Right, that's weird. Yeah. But it's the way my buttons are configured, they're not right. Oh, I've run out of bullets. Once again, it looks like it. 
it's not moot, it's all right this game once you figure it out, fuck it. But as I said, I think it's just a points game because you're just going to carry on playing it and playing it. Okay. If anything, the firing mechanism, what they've tried for, obviously the later game was, um, well it ain't a later game, but it just reminds me the way the firing mechanism works. Smash TV on uh, Super Nintendo when you can have all directions, but that worked. There was no point in just firing the direction you're going. Oh! Ah, oh, fuck. So, basically, I think this is the game. This is all you do. Once you work out the buttons. Obviously, I haven't got mine configured properly. Come on, come down. No, they ain't gonna come down, are they? So that thing... Oh, right, so that's like a shield. I wonder what happens if I go in that. Right, I don't think you can fight. Well, I ain't got a weapon. That could be some sort of shield to protect you. Okay, but they always respawn, so... Yeah, unfortunately this is the game. I was hoping there would be a little bit more to it, but it is an early game, an 1982 game, which pretty much most games are just all about getting a higher score, but the earlier games, they had more variation to it. As I say, I don't know nothing about the Aquarius. I don't know what its limitations was, what its specs were. Oh, I know it had the Z80 progressor. processor. I mean, it's all right to play. It's all right once you figure out the fire buttons. But I'd much rather have it just a basic fire button. One fire button, fire in the, in the position you're going in. Mind you, if I had the buttons configured properly, then it might have been more exciting. But I just thought this was just a one-button system. I don't know. I don't. I've never not seen what control it must. I don't know. I, as I said, I don't know nothing about the system at all. Damn it! So. 2,100 points. Right, am I going to get it? So it looks like that the weapons are very effective. So it kills everything in its path. But I don't think you can fire multiple weapon, multiple bullets. I think you can only fire one at a time. Ah, shit! That's it, this is the game. Obviously you can't shoot the bullets. Two at the same time there. Uh. Well, that was lucky. Weren't a total waste then. 
Oh! I need a gun. Ah, oh, shit. Damn it! So, last life. I don't know if this come out on any other system. Might have done. Right, got him. Damn it. Oh shit. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, graphics are very basic, but I can't argue with the basics. This is an old game. It's an 82 game, so can't really complain about the graphics. It does what it needs to do. Um, it's not much variation in the game. It's just a score game. I think what you see is what you get. I think it gets a little bit harder throughout the game. Um, it's all right for a quick blast. It's worth a go, at least. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.